Hi everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. I'm finally getting around to showing you guys the few little crafty things I found uh, at garage sales this weekend. Didn't find too much, but since last weekend I found so much great stuff, I'm not going to complain. The first things I want to show you all, uh, these were not garage sale finds. These I actually found at my local library in uh, the children's room. I've said in previous videos, my library has um, a big Rubbermaid container in the children's room and they throw all the books in there that they either have too many copies of or um, they just can't use. So I found all these great Japanese books in there uh, a week or two ago. This one, and I know this is actually the cover because they read the opposite way that we do, but it's easier for me to flip through the pages this way. This one is just all about birds, but I just love all these pages of Japanese text because I have a few Asian projects that I want to do someday, you know, way, way down the road, and I can use that. This one is just about bamboo. Same thing, lots of nice text to use, and there's one nice print in here. There it is. Really pretty. This one's just all about clouds and the paper, you know, all looks like mulberry paper. And then this one's really pretty. It has some nice prints in here along with a lot more the Japanese text. So like I said, keep an eye out at your local library for free things or ask them what they do with the books that they discard. And I forgot to show these last week. I got these at the same sale where I got all those vintage buttons last weekend. Found this really cool, I don't know if she's Bakelite or not, this vintage witch. Can't wait to use her on some Halloween inspired project. She was 50 cents. And then this was also 50 cents. This little bracelet with these really delicate little flowers. They're all um, plastic and they're missing some rhinestones, but I can probably find some that fit. So I can either use this as one piece of trim or I can unhook them and use them individually. Found this really pretty silver tone dragonfly pin with all these hot pink and pink rhinestones in it. That was a dime. Found some really nice lace doilies. And these are all in different shapes. There's snowflakes and there's one more snowflake. And then of course the reason that I bought it was because it had a piece of tape on it that said butterflies and snowflakes so had to get those those were also uh, 10 cents found another old dictionary this one's from 1942 and you know it's all beat up but it was only 25 cents all the pages are really nice and brown so um, not sure if I'm gonna keep this one so if anyone's interested if anybody wants an old dictionary said this one, one is from 1940. Um, let me know. And got these vintage looking Valentine's Day cards. This one's my favorite. I love this image. It's really shabby chic. Also came with two pages of stickers and then you get two copies of each of the other cards. That was, I don't know, a quarter, 50 cents maybe. I bundled it with a bunch of other items. This is a collage book. Uh, I got this for just a quarter. This is uh, for my daughter. She's become extremely crafty over the past few weeks. Hopefully she'll stay that way. But um, this is a 
collage book from you know Eric Carle, a famous children's collage artist, and it has all of these great patterned tissue papers. So her and I should have fun this summer using those. She's already mentioned that you know she's made a ton of stuff the past few weeks, and she's already mentioned that she would like me to feature some of her things, you know, on my TV show. <laughs> So I think we're going to have to make a couple um, videos with my daughter and her creations. She's really, really chomping at the bit to show all of you what she's made. And I found these at the same sale where I found that box of cards. These, you know, I'm, they're not vintage. They just look like they are. This is actually a, like a box bag. And this is the other side of it. And then... This little bunny rabbit. It says two dollars for all. I think there was supposed to be a lot more there, so I think he only charged me about fifty cents. So that's everything I got at garage sales, and just wanted to show you some of the things I picked up at Michael's last night. I'm trying not to go to Michael's unless I actually need something, and I had to go to get some eight by eight albums for my daughter's um, kindergarten teacher and the, um, her assistant, and of course. They had things on clearance, so I had to buy some stuff. Um, they had, these were in a big bin marked 50 cents, so I got these two sets of bling, because I refuse to buy anything from the $1.50 bin anymore, because as soon as they raised it to $1.50, I boycotted it. So at least that's saving me money. And the rest of these stamps here, they just put these out a few weeks ago, and they're already on clearance. Um, these are by Studio G. They were on clearance for $1.49. And I'm a big sucker for cling stamps. So I'm trying to buy things that I can use that are more open that I can use with my pro markers. Because I'm having a blast with those. I'm going to come back and show you guys the cards that I did for my swap this month. And um, I used my pro markers on those. And these were only 99 cents, and they had some more. I might have to go back today and pick up a couple more. This, of course, I put the price tag right over the cute little owl's face. And then this little owl. And I got this set for $2.50. And then with my 50 off coupon, I had to get another set of Tim Holtz cling stamps because I love this quote. I'm going to use this, I think, in my daughter's um, teacher's album for kindergarten. The world of reality has its limits, but the world of imagination is boundless. It's just perfect for kindergarten and all these butterflies. So I had to buy that. So that's it. I'm going to come back and show you guys the cards that I made for my swap. So thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you're having a good week. Talk to you soon.